Hello friends, my name is Ashlyn and today we are going to be doing a 10 styles challenge. I have never done this before and I'm actually really excited to show you guys. First we start off with my style. I don't particularly have a set style, um, however this is just my way that I would approach drawing myself or doing a self-portrait, I guess, in a more illustrative way. I'm using my self as a reference, as you can see. I like to sketch in pink just because it's very bright and I feel like black often you... Things get muddy, in my opinion, when you sketch with black, um, so sketching with a different color or with gray definitely helps me. In my opinion, I feel like my current illustrative style of people is very Disney-like, which is why I did not do a Disney style this time. However, next time I might do Disney as part of the challenge if I were to do this again. As I said before, I don't particularly have an illustrative style in my opinion, so this challenge was really good for me to see the different ways that different illustrators and artists approach drawing people and really helped me understand how to simplify faces in a better way that I understand. For myself and my style, I was initially going to go pretty realistic with the colors. However, in the end, I did switch it up and use my uh, persona of when I had pink hair because I liked that um, much better than the realistic to date. Um, colors and I wanted all of the other illustrations after this to be roughly based off of when I had pink hair at the time just because I feel like that's more fun. This is the final result. And next is Bob's Burgers. Bob's Burgers is a show that I love to watch. I finished the entire series. I think it's so funny. And the style was pretty easy to replicate. I referenced Tina 
for the face and body shape and then I tried to improvise it a little bit to make it more of my own, making the character have curly hair like I do. This was the final Bob's Burgers design. Next up is Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty is another show that is near and dear to my heart. I haven't watched the latest season yet. For this drawing, I reference both Summer and Morty. I think that it looks more like Morty <laughs> with the round face. I also wanted to do the derpy face just because it's one of my favorite faces that they do. The uh, most surprising thing to me was how like wobbly their line art was for the characters. I uh, thought that it was like clean and crisp, but apparently not. And this is the final Rick and Morty character. Next up is Adventure Time. I'm currently watching Adventure Time for the first time. I haven't seen the full series. I love their illustrative style. It's very cute and bubbly, so I had a lot of fun drawing this one. I referenced Princess Bubblegum in order to replicate a lot of the same pinks and sort of curly ish rounded ends in her hair. I wanted to replicate that into my curly hair. And this was the final Adventure Time results. Next up is Sailor Moon. This one is an iconic anime style. I have not actually watched Sailor Moon, so I don't know the series that well. I referenced the main character and wanted to give the iconic um, pigtails to my version. The hardest part for me was the fact that the line weight varies depending on the features and what is in the foreground and background, so that was a new thing that I had a bit of a hard time with, as well as the shading. It was hard to figure that out because every design previously were based on just flat colors.
And this was the final Sailor Moon design. Next up is the Powerpuff Girls. I absolutely adore the Powerpuff Girls style, so there was no way that I could not include them in this challenge. I love how giant their heads and eyes are. It's very childlike. And I wanted to incorporate my own puff space buns, sort of like Bubbles has, except with curly hair. And this was the finished Powerpuff design. Next up is The Simpsons. This one is definitely an iconic illustrative style. I had a lot of requests on Instagram to include this one in the challenge. By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, be sure to check it out in the link below and you'll be able to contribute to videos like this in the future. And this is my interpretation of myself in The Simpsons. Next up is Gravity Falls. So Gravity Falls is not a cartoon that I've actually ever watched. However, I do know that a lot of people have and it was definitely highly requested. And so I'm giving it to you guys. And this is the final result. Next up is Phineas and Ferb. Phineas and Ferb was definitely a cartoon I watched every Saturday as a kid with my dad and sisters. So it was definitely nostalgic for me to draw this. I referenced Candace for most of the drawing. I changed up the hair to make it look somewhat more curly and kept my color palette consistent. And this was my final result. Next up is The Fairly Odd Parents. This is a show that I loved along with 
Jimmy Neutron and Danny Phantom. However, I did not include those styles in this challenge. This is the last one. This one was especially hard due to the varying line weights of the character. The anything touching the outside is outlined in a very thick line art and anything on the inside is very thin. So I think I did somewhat okay trying to replicate that, but this one by far I feel like was the hardest for me to replicate and make my own. And this was the final Fairly Odd Parents result. Overall, I'm very happy with this challenge. I think I created a lot of fun characters that definitely look the style that I referenced from, which was my goal. It was very fun to reimagine myself in these shows and learn how different artists approach different faces. Overall, I'm very happy with the results and I'm so glad that you guys watched till the end of the video. Please leave a like on this video and subscribe if you enjoyed and stay tuned for more content and I can't wait to see you guys soon. Love you. Thank you. Bye.